going to lead. Hmm, who is going Massey? to lead? Yeah, perhaps. I like him when he rolls along out front too. He's very tenacious. I mean, what are they going to do on Southern Stock today? He usually oh. rolls forward, but he went back last up, but he's got a soft draw today. What do they do? Well, he usually likes to make his move mid-race. <laughs> Doesn't he always? Takes off. He does. Makes a few runs. All right, just Mormona left to load here. Well, he'll be the last one in. Let's get up to Josh Fleming for a great call of the Queensland Cup. Red. Number nine above her head in the barrier. <coughs> so more Mona to come up. And the 4X Queensland Cup about to be run and won. And they're all in. The light turned on. 2,400. And they're all in. They make a good line, racing. Artful girl away, OK. Oh, simply refused, stood there. Came out about five or six behind the field. Artful girl's in front here. From the inside, Chayla Sonati going forward as Tap is Lad. Third realm. Mormon is trapped out and poking through. Tapple doodle do. Hell of a deal. Nick Al Spurs on the rail. Glenn Massey further back. A length and a half to Southern Stock and Kirkby. And simply refused about three lengths away. So in front now is Tapple doodle do from the favourite. Artful girl. Girl, third the outside going forward, third round. Hell of a deal in fourth and Chase and Artie, fifth the inside. Wide round, Tappy's lad, hell of a deal. Uh, Glenn Massey, the inside, Nicole Spur, followed there by Mormona out wider on the track. Southern Stock and Kirkby and simply refused tacking on a length and a half away. So Tapple Doodle Doos in front here, second, third round. Arful Girl, third and fourth the outside. There is hell of a deal and further back on the run to uh, Tappy's lad in the yellow cap and Chase and Artie. Next over on the outside, Glenn Massey, followed there by Nick Al Spur, Moore Mona. A long way about Southern Stock. Kirkby, second last and simply refused a length and a half away. So Tapple Doodle Doo by head, second, third round. Two lengths away, third is Artful Girl. Fourth, the outside is Hell of a Deal. A length and a half to Chase and Artie on the inside. Tap his lad. Wider out, Glenn Massey. Nick Al Spur, Moore Mona's over on the outside. Southern Stock in third last and further back to Kirkby. Kirkby, her second last on the fence and simply refuse is to last of all. So Tapple Doodle Doo in front by a half length from second, third round. Two lengths away, third artful girl on the inside. Then we've got Hell of a Deal. Further back to Glenn Massey. Wider out there as Tappy's lad under some pressure. Uh, more Mona's out wider. Then we've got Chase and Artie on the rail. Southern Stock, Nick Al Spur has only got a couple behind him. Taking off now as simply refuse out wider and Kirkby is last of all. So Hell of Deals made the move, looms up the inside. Tapple Doodle Doo, more motor out wider runs home. Glenn Massey, Chase and Artie, the inside weaving through. Nick Al Spur down the outside, simply refused. Stretch across the track out wide, more motor. Nick Al Spur slicing through. Hell of a deal is still there. The inside, Chase and Artie, but Nick Al Spur has burst away in the Queensland Cup. It's all Nick Al Spur, three lengths in front, and Nick Al Spur races away for the Gearans. Nick Al Spur bolts him second. More Mona, photo third, Kirkby, up full girl. Up there was simply refused. Chase and Artie, Sutherland Stock, followed by Glenn Massey, hell of a deal. Tap his lad, Tapple Doodle Doo, and third realm at the rear. Oh, he certainly deserves that. Nick Al Spur for the Gearans. Uh, yeah, that is a that's a successful win there for him. He's been very good. Every time he goes around, he puts in. He was pretty unlucky first up. He found himself a little bit too far back over the unsuitable trip. He had no favours then um, second up at Doomben. And then last start in the Toowoomba Cup, he was very gallant in defeat. He probably found himself a few tooth pairs further back than what you'd like. And he cut Cut into the margin, really nice. He's very honest. He does appreciate racing here at Eagle Farm. It's been a really good steer under Jimmy Orman off in that nice soft gate. So good win, well-deserved win. And they're the sort of horses you love to see win these sorts of races. Just waiting for those numbers. Kirkaby was awfully unlucky. He was eventually following Nick Al Spurs' run. He's had to scout wide for runs, and he's really on the offside there, off part, part of the.